Ben Bathgate last updated 0833, December 9, 2017. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern used a visit to Rotorua on Friday to promise a reset for Crown and Iwi relations. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern got into some spade work during her visit to Rotorua. On Friday, turning the first sod on a $30 million lakefront spa development. Arden said the Pukeroa Rufata Grupal development, called Waiariki, is an example of a project that was iwi land, e wild, and one that will create jobs and tourism infrastructure. It's incredibly exciting. An artist's impression of the $30 million spa facility for Rotorua's lakefront. Joining the Prime Minister were members of the governments. Uri Caucus and Pukero Arufata Trust representatives. Government officials were welcomed onto the site with a formal ceremony before Arden and Pukero Arufata. Chairman Malcolm Short, accompanied by local Tamariki, used ceremonial shovels to turn the first sod. Short said the ceremony and the attendance of government ministers shows the significance of the development. Not just to Rotorua but to the wider New Zealand tourism industry. The spa is expected to open in late 2019 and bring tens of millions of dollars into the Rotorua economy. Why Iriki Hot Springs and Spa is a luxury spa and wellness center being developed by Pukero Aruafata on Rotorua's lakefront. It is expected to boost the local economy by tens of millions of dollars a year. It is exciting to be at a point where groundworks can now get underway and we can start to see the site transformed, Short said, as well as the jobs that will be created when Waiariki Hot Springs and Spa opens in late 2019, there will be significant additional jobs during the construction phase. We will be working with contractors to ensure local people, including Nadi Fakoi, are given employment opportunities, Short said the development is about growing the local and international visitor economy for the benefit of all of Rotorua and extending the destination's existing spa, health, wellness and visitor experiences. The intention is to prompt visitors to stay longer and experience more in Rotorua. Nati Fakoi, TRR and Maori culture sit at the heart of Waiariki, with the 650-year history of the tribe and Rotorua spa heritage forming an intrinsic part of the development elements of Nati Fakoi and TRR culture will be infused throughout, short said, as an e-wild development on iwi land. We have a proven history of developing projects for the economic and social well-being of Nati Fakoi and the wider community. We are confident this development will continue this, not only by providing another income stream, but also through providing new employment for locals in an exciting and growing industry. Stuff.